out this is called dry brush feather blending where I gradually fade the cloud down all right so now you've got an interesting shape on the top you just work your way across scrub feather blend scrub feather blend until it's just kind of feathered out there's no hard edges you got a soft little cloud now let's add another one come back down here back to the white a little touch of orange and just enough moisture to make this move. It's kind of creamy, really. It's like a soft butter consistency. Again, not too much on your brush. Okay, but say I want a cloud right up here. Put a little dab. Quickly establish the shape. That's the first thing you want to do, folks. Get that shape in there. Once you get the shape, then you quickly move on. You have to do, I have to admit, you have to work kind of quickly, okay? Now, on the right-hand side, now look where I'm, I'm holding my brush like a pencil. I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to start right here. I'm going to see that might be, oh, that's pretty good. And I'm going to wipe some of that off. It's a little too much. Now, I start over here on the outer edge. And I come down like this. And see, I kind of smush the color here. And I form the shape of the rock. See, I'm forming this edge here. And I'm leaving, quote, what we call little pockets of negative space little touches of uh, this gray color here. This forms the rock, and we'll come back and highlight it in a minute. Okay, see I'm kind of touching it and dabbing it. Come over here. See, I'm leaving this big pocket, so it looks like it maybe it's kind of broken or something. Pull this on down here in the front, because that's just the front of the rock there. This may be a section here that just runs right into it. The key to this, you guys, is to keep the brush moving, okay, just moving all the time. See, quick little suggestive strokes. Now, what happens to a lot of times, you'll see it kind of gum up or beat up. Folks, that's normal. Remember, this is a painting, and it's like oil painting. You're, you, a lot of the reasons people like painting is because it creates texture and it has a lot of nice thickness to it. That makes it look rich. Well, you're going to get up here. I don't know if you can see them too much or not, but there's little, looks like little buckles or wrinkles. That's normal. That's just where the paint is a little thicker. I like that. Now, if you don't like that because you think it needs to be as smooth as an airbrush, you can actually smooth this out really, really like you took an airbrush and feathered it on there. But that's not necessary for most paintings. But the main thing I want to warn you about is this. Once you start the process, be sure you use excess and barely skim the surface. Make sure your brush stays together. If your bristles separate, see those are not separating. That's called a chisel. You want to make sure you have a good chisel. If it's not chiseling well, you need to add a touch more water or a touch more gesso. So come down here to the palette for one more time. And this is how we'll end this. I would add a little touch of water. And I come down here like this, a little touch of gesso. And I just see how I'm working my, this is brush maintenance. It's all it is. I'm making sure that my bristles are back together. Don't ever scrub these because they'll just separate, they'll spread out. You work it in like this. See, and that gets the bristles all back together again. And then you can come back up here and you can blend it using these nice, beautiful egg strokes. I can just skim the surface and it just makes a beautiful blend, folks. See, it's called feather blending. It's barely touching the surface. X, X, X.